Good day, fellow teachers. I've been asked by some of the other newer teachers on Google Classroom if I could cover a couple of topics about how Google Classroom works and how to integrate it with Plus Portals. There will be a list at the bottom with the timestamps so you can jump to the specific topics that you would like to learn about throughout the video. I hope the information I present here is helpful to you. And if you have any other questions at the end of the video, please feel free to let me know. The first thing I want to cover is the parent or guardian summary. The guardian summary is an emailed list of the assignments that are being posted in any class that a student is enrolled in. It's automatically sent either daily or weekly depending upon the parent's desire. And um, as a parent, I love this. It's a nice quick snapshot that I get daily so I know what's being expected in each one of my students' classes. You do have to make sure that this is turned on in your class, which is actually a very easy thing to do. So you're just going to choose one of your classes, go up to the little gear settings in the right hand corner, choose that, and then scroll down a little bit and make sure that Guardian Summaries is turned on. The email itself looks something like this. You'll see the student's name and then the, the list of the missing work, what's coming up, and activities that are passed. So it'll just give you a nice little summary so we as parents can see what's going on. Again, it's super, super helpful for us, especially now, to stay on top of our students' work. Portals is a nightmare to navigate as a parent, even more so than it is as a teacher. So anything you can do to help the parents help you is much appreciated. The other part of parent summaries you need to check on is to see whether there's a parent listed for the individual students. Now, once one teacher puts them into the Google Classroom world for Archbishop Curley, they're in for all of us. But I just went under the People's tabs, and you can see whether there are emails for each individual student listed there. I have gone through for every one of my students, so that's, you know, 80-some students. I know that Mr. Moon uses them, Ms. Waisaki uses them. They're pretty widely used around the science department, so just check and see whether your students have an email here. If they don't, then if you feel so inclined, you can just copy the parent email over from portals and input it here, and then it will send a invitation to the parent for setting up their parent summaries. Before you can import grades from Google Classroom to portals, you have to link your Google Classroom to your portals. So open up your gradebook and you're going to see right here next to your class name, I'm doing my faculty so I can show you guys, uh, the little green Google symbol. So go ahead and click on that and it's going to open up the list of Google Classrooms that you have. Just choose the, the appropriate Google Classroom class. Um, I can't do it because I don't have one for my faculty and hit link and then that is going to throw a few um, messages at you but essentially it's going to link your classroom to portals and that's the first step that has to be done. Once you have that done you can go into one of your grade books and you can import individual assignments. Um, so to do that, again, you're just going to do add a column like you normally would, but instead of typing all of this information in, you just choose the link classroom button there. It will pull up a list of all of the assignments that you have set up in Google Classroom. This one, I'm going to use this questionnaire. So choose your assignment, hit link, say yes. And then the only thing I found is that frequently you have to change the category because it leaves it on the last one. So in this case, this was a quiz. It's going to pull in the points that you had from Google Classroom. It will pull in the due date from Google Classroom. And then again, always select the count and averages sh sh um, share to the column. And then if you add to Plus Portals as coursework, this is where it will post to the Plus Portals as an upcoming assignment. So let's go ahead and create that a column. And I do this as soon as I set up an assignment in Google Classroom so that I can post that same thing over to Portals. And here it is. Here is the new assignment that I just brought in. And because I'd already graded some work over in Google, it brought in the grades automatically for me. Later, if the students complete more of the work and I need to update those grades, like in this column right here, if you just click on the little Google button, it will automatically bring over any additional grades that you've put in. 
And now when I go over and I look at my assignments, my posted assignment messages in portals, you can see right here, there's the online learning questionnaire. That's the one that I just made that I just brought in. So I've only had to set the, the assignment up once in Google Classroom itself and then just link it to portals. Everything else happens for you.